everybody so it's Kevin with freedom coins here and today we got ourselves a half dollar hunt I'm only gonna do one box because I use most of my boxes for the live stream so if you haven't checked that out I'll go ahead and link that video right up here that way if you want to you can go ahead and take a look at it secondly this box was marked on the 17th so hopefully that was right before the virus stuff hit and people were turning in coins but let's just go ahead it was kind of ripped at the bank but it's still all together, hasn't been open. Now, let's take a look at it for ourselves. See if we got anything good in it. We have this one that's got some blue on it, but that's not gonna do anything for me. I'm gonna rip these edges off. I'll bring you back in here in a second. Okay guys, I went ahead and got everything flipped around. I didn't see anything that stood out to me other than this one right here. You can't really tell since it's all marked up. I won't, I won't count it as an ender because I'm <laughs> I'm usually wrong when I do call them as enders, but we're gonna put this, eh, we'll put it up top here. That way it's right on top of our mats. If you do want a mat, I do have them for sale and I'll link them below uh, to my eBay store. So if you do want a mat, you're more than welcome. Plenty of them left over for you. Without further ado, let's grab roll number one and start hunting. Well guys, this was a tough hunt. It was a tough hunt. We ended up finding one NIFC here, 2003D. Not exactly what we're looking for, especially in one entire box of halves. I got them all bagged up. Bank sends me these bags. That way then I can send them through the drive-thru. That way they don't have to touch the coins. Anyway, this isn't the end of the video. I'm gonna grab, yeah, I'll probably grab two boxes tomorrow. We'll get into those and hopefully those have some silver. All right, we're back a day later. Like I promised you, we're just gonna go keep hunting boxes till we find silver and kind of see what see what our numbers look like okay right of the way don't see don't see any enders down here nope let's get the edges torn off and these rolls flipped around just like that everybody on our fourth roll we're gonna have ourselves a silver this one right there all right that didn't take too long probably gonna take longer to get out of the roll and we got ourselves a 1966. Again, really nice 40 percenter. We're gonna add that to our first find. I did put that NIFC back in my dump bucket because I went and dumped these coins yesterday. Whenever the bank's gonna let me dump coins, I'm gonna take advantage of it. So we got one silver on the board. We'll just keep checking through this roll for anything crazy and then get back to the hunt. All right, guys, very next roll. We got something big here. That smooth, smooth edge there. I'm guessing Walker, but let's check it out together. And it is. It's an incredibly smooth Walker. I can't get a date whatsoever on that. But it's a walking Liberty, a smooth one, but it's a walking Liberty. And that is fantastic. Much better than our last box. We'll put it right up there next to that 40 percenter. Hopefully we can find some more in this roll. Roll number seven, you guys. And I think this is gonna be a 40 right there. I've been, I've been tricked. See, if you look up top, it kind of looks a little reddish. Those ones always trick me. I think it's silver. All right, it is. Okay, good. 1968D. Not a bad coin whatsoever. It definitely looks a lot better placed next to these other silvers. Now we did have that last roll. It did have a 2002P NIFC. Not an amazing NIFC, but it's still a find. Well, I don't have a find for you guys, but if you ever have one of those aha moments where you think, hey, maybe, maybe I saw something like this before. If we go back to this coin, like I said, I can't see a mint mark on the, I mean, the date on the bottom. But if you look right there, that's gonna be an S mint mark. I know it's tough to tell, but that's an S mint mark. And with the mint being on the obverse here, we know that it's gonna be either a 1916 S when they only made 508,000 of them, which in G4 condition, the red book says hundred bucks. And then 1917 S obverse mint mark 952, and it says $27. Now, we don't know the exact date on it, but we do know it's an obverse S mint mark, which means it's either a 16 or a 17. So either a hundred or $27 coin. This makes this coin a heck of a lot better. Figured I'd bring that in with you guys. 
Sometimes I'm a little slow when it comes to coins, but we got it figured out. I just wanted to give you that piece of information. Well guys, I gotta say, it was a good hunt. First box was a little tough, but this second box definitely made up for it. Like I said before, we had a 1966, we had 1968, then we had our two NIFCs, 2002 and 2005, and then our Walker. That could be a 1916S or 1917S. Either way, it's a rare date Walker, that's for sure. This will definitely be going into my collection, even though it's smooth, definitely worth the collection. I will be streaming on Sunday. We'll do Sunday stream again. Go ahead and check out my old stream if you wanna, if you wanna see how it went, things like that. But I will also link, link all the stream details down in the bottom as well as put the stream right up here. But until Sunday, yeah, I might post a video on Saturday, but definitely Sunday. Stay free, stay tuned, wash your hands, and we'll see you on Sunday for the stream. Thank you.